You could just tell she's been waiting 30 years, 30 plus years to say this to this man, bro. You could just tell. Even after her son's passing, bro, you can tell that she felt it was Diddy's fault that her son ain't here no more. And, and, and in my opinion, it is. In my humble opinion, he definitely has something to do with the unalivement of, of, the, of the Notorious B.I.G. Without question. And I never really thought about it until now. It's kind of crazy that there's stories coming out that Biggie wanted out of Bad Boy literally a couple days before he got popped in L.A. The name of his second e uh, uh, album was Life After Death, right? And then the name of Diddy's debut album was No Way Out? What? I don't know. Maybe she was maybe she was intimidated to stay quiet about her feelings. I don't know whatever the case may be, bro. I don't know. But I'm glad that she was able to speak out. Hell, I'm glad that everybody's able to speak out about this man, bro, because again, when I was a child, I didn't know better. I looked up to this dude. I see a black man, millionaire dancing around in the freaking Sahara Desert, millions of dollars. I'm like, shit, I want to do that too. And then when you get older, you realize how much of a freaking monster he is. Anyway, shouts out to Miss Wallace. So, Notorious Biggie, uh, who happens to be, I mean, B.I.G., let me just say, his mother, uh, Madame Voletta, um, Wallace, uh, after seeing Didi and Cassie's heart-wrenching video circulating on social media, she finally also has responded to this. And for her, she says that, judging from exactly what she watched in the video, there's only one thing she feels like doing right now, and she wants to give Didi one of the greatest slap ever and she she will gladly do it she said she actually wants to give this to didi but a lot of people have been reading meanings to it because her words seemed a bit so harsh and some people are saying that who knows could there be a reason uh, for she wanting to slap didi like you know because um people are alleging that didi had a hand in uh, the demise of uh, her beloved son and so well may he so rest in peace anyway and so uh, this slap she says she wants to give to didi comes as a result of the anger she feels for didi but i don't know so much about that yet but maybe there should be some sequence to this recent uh, development of she expressing herself in this way okay so what do you think about it let's know what's inside the comment section but for this particular one she says that She's watched the Cassie uh, video and she's just heartbroken. She cannot even find words to express how disgusted she is after watching the video. She's just not so angry, but she actually is so excruciatingly miffed about this. And she wants to give Didi the best of, you know, whatever, like the slaps ever. I'm sorry, but I had to say exactly how she said it. <laughs> It's sad, seriously, I'm laughing, but it's not, it's not, it's not a funny thing. It's not funny at all because this lady is, is, is I mean, she's actually um, very determined about what she wants to do. She's, and I think there's a backstory to this because Didi and, uh, you know, and the terrorist B.I.G. were best friends. Uh, I don't know, they had some little issue. I'm not so sure if they were able to resolve it. Uh, then all of a sudden, uh, you know, he passed out and Didi had one of the, I mean, a powerful song with a very, um, I don't know, but the title of the song was quite controversial. And I, I think... If, if a memory serves me right, I'm trying so hard to remember what the song uh, title is. Something has to do with death or something. Um, after death or aftermath of death, something like that. I'm sorry, but guys, remind me in the comment section. I'm just losing uh, the, the uh, original uh, track name, but I think I'll remember that very soon and let you know. And so that was the, uh, the reason I am thinking. I'm thinking that maybe could have triggered um madam uh, wallace uh for this statement or comment because it looks like she's been piling a lot inside him and she's been enduring a lot of pain after uh her son's uh passing and now biggie uh, sorry diddy is apparently caught up in this and it feels like she knows a lot and she wants to speak i i, I don't know but i feel like she she, she actually is is, is 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 just angry she's just angry <laughs> She said she wants to slap. <laughs> she said she wants to slap Didi. Like, why? I mean, the, the, as, as, as far as we're concerned, 
the law is taking its course. And um, we cannot do much, we cannot say much, but as far as it's in the, uh, it's in the, in, uh, in, in the hands or the bosom of the court, I think we should all exercise patience and uh, just be cautious until justice is being served, okay? No need for um, unnecessary utterances like this. I feel this is just unnecessary. Like what she said is, is quite unnecessary. It's not needed. If Didi were to be in front of, of, of her right now, I doubt she would even get the courage to even see such a thing. Well, maybe she might try to do it, but she would not be able to do it, okay? I feel like she's just um, paranoid and just being super hypersensitive, you get it. I'm, this, this is how I'm just saying. She's just been hypersensitive, nothing more. And of course, um, nobody also deserves to go through what Cassie went through and all the accusers, you know, so far have gone through. And so as a mother, I kind of share in her view of the pain she's going through. Just imagine if Cassie's uh, mother was supposed to be Mrs. Wallace. Of course, she has every right to go and, you know, give Diddy a heavy slap or whatever. But as far as Cassie is not yours and I don't know what might have triggered her anyway, but it's, it's, everything is just so funny right now. Anyways, let's quickly move on to social media rant. And you can also let us know what you think about it inside the comment section. It's an interactive show. And so let's quickly know what you also think, okay? Um, Karen Hahn comes to say she, uh, an OG, and is against her any female uh, violence. She from the old school and wouldn't condone it, uh, nor anyone for that matter. I, I think you're talking about the Cassie story. Oh, well, of course, she's a woman, and no, no woman must even condone I think that was the reason why everybody was super upset when um, Young Miami was quiet about this whole issue. Because every woman, including some male, were, were, were just not happy. They were so disgusted about the things they saw Didi do to all these people, especially with Cassie. Yet, young Miami was quiet. You see how a lady is, is so aggressive and wanted to, I mean, wants to defend another lady? This is how we expected young Miami to act. This was how we expected young Miami to have acted long, long ago. The unfollowing of Didi doesn't make sense. Well, it makes sense, but it doesn't speak any volume enough. And so what? Like, you haven't followed him, so what? Like, literally what? <laughs> Anyways. Uh, Miller uh, comes to say, oh, give me a break. Uh, if he's done this once, he's done it before. This isn't just one-time behavior. Quit trying to cover up for the guy again. It was 10 years ago. She should have done something. Uh, well... Like I did see, he could, she could not do anything. Mrs. Wallace could not do anything, okay? If indeed Didi was guilty, and I don't know, but I feel like she wants to press, if she had enough evidence against Didi, she would have made, um, uh, sorry, press charges against him. But we know that for now, it's, it's, been, it's been almost like a, a decade or so uh, since the passing of Nasheris B.I.G., and we still have not found enough evidence against Didi. So if indeed he's true, he is guilty, I think the law would have caught up with him in a very long time ago. But I feel Didi is innocent here, okay? For this, I can, I can, I can vouch for him, but I have a strong feeling Didi is not, is not guilty in this um, case, okay? But never say never. Um, on leisure comes to say, get my name, get my man's, well, get my man's Will Smith to do it for you, Mama Wallace. Ah, <laughs> that's true. Will Smith would have done it easily, just as he did with uh, Chris Rock on the um, Oscars over there. So that's uh, Miss Wallace over there, who says that she wishes to give, uh, you know, uh, Biggie. Oh, well, not Biggie, Didi, I mean, a big slap when uh, she comes into contact with uh, him. Well, Miss Wallace, your dreams are valid. Pursue it. You may achieve it. This has been the Literature Something Axe News. Thanks for watching.